Welcome back to another episode of WordPress Tutorials with Pixel Web. In today's episode, we're going to go over the user related post plugin. Now, what is a related post plugin? When you have a person visiting your website and they read an, the awesome article that you create, you kind of want them to stay on your website. You want them to go from one article to the next. Um, this will benefit you for your search engine rankings because time on site is, you know, is important. Um, it'll decrease your bounce rate and it will give you the opportunity to potentially, you know, convert the website visitor uh, to meet one of your goals, whether it's to purchase something, click on an affiliate link, um, share socially, find something that might be of interest to them. So the related post plugins, you know, are, you know, are a good option. Uh, Yuzo is a uh, very popular one. It's active on 20,000 plus installations. As you can see, it has 4.6 out of 5 stars, 156 5-star re uh, reviews, which is, you know, pretty cool. Um, it was recently updated. Uh, so you, you can see it's actively uh, maintained. So that's um, something that's very important to make sure that the plugins you use are actively maintained by the developers. Um, so let's head over to the back end of our website. Um, you would just log into your WordPress powered website and in the back end you would go over to the plugins and you can just click on add new. From there in the search plugins Field, you would just type out Yuzo and just hit return. And then you're going to be presented with the search result. Um, as you can see, it's the same one that we displayed uh, initially. So we're going to install now. It will go through the installation process. And then you're just going to activate the plugin. Once you do that, you're going to see in the settings section, you're going to have another option there, the user related post. So you could just click on that to configure the plugin to work as you want it to. So you have some basic options. In the top text, you can change or keep the H3 um, uh, HTML tag there. And you can change the text related post to whatever you want it to say. I just leave it like related post. Or you can just determine how many posts you want to be displayed. You can choose the, the post types that it would be working on. And then related to, you can choose it to be only via tags, category, tags and category, taxonomies, random, etc. You can change the order from descendant uh, to ascendant. You can choose to show it on your RSS feed, target link to open up in a new tab. You can use the well no follow attribute. You even have some um, advanced features here for people who are comfortable with, uh, you know, putting code inside their theme uh, files. So you can add this to your like single.php file. Um, make sure it's in the loop. And so you have some other features that are pretty good, but just straight out the box, it pretty much works um, as needed. The default settings are fine. You can check out the styling as well. Um, you, the default is this nice, um, nice uh, image with the content uh, excerpt right underneath it. Uh, that's the default setting. You can choose the thumbnail sizes. Um, you can change some of the styling to give it a you know, border color, hover, transition effects, um, things of that nature. You can change the font size, the title length, um, like that. You can use text center. And if you want to put in custom CSS, you can do that as well. So it's a pretty good plugin to use. And they have some productivity features as well that you can take a look at. But again, just straight out the box, I don't change most of the stuff, um, but definitely check it out uh, yourself. Maybe there's some ways you want to customize it, but you know, it's pretty simple to use just straight out the box. So now we're going to save any changes that we've made. It will go through its process of saving. And let's take a look at how it looks. All right. So we're now on the front end of the website. I'm on my local host. I just duplicated 
my live site. So we're going to take a look at how to speed up your WordPress website. All right, so this is an article that I you know, wrote some time back. It gives you some information on how to speed up your site. Some plugins you could use, things of that nature. It shows you the results. Um, I was testing out my website. And then towards the end, it gives you this related post section. This is the plugin feature right here. So a person gets to the end of your article, and now they say, oh, wait, let me see what the um, premium tools and resources for work for web developers. So now they go to another article on your website. So they take a look at that, you know, they read it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so this is a plugin that helps to increase the time on site uh, for web site visitors to your to your website. It's uh, very popular. It's well supported. It's you know very fast. That's something that's extremely important. Um, and it's something that has almost five stars. So that's a key factor. It's again called the user related post plugin. Um, it's uh, minimalist, productive, and fast. That's something that the developer right here has um, been focusing on. Um, these are some of the main features it provides, and it's been tested on a significant amount of websites. Um, so if you're looking for a way to keep people on your website to help increase your search engine rankings and to potentially convert website visitors to meet one of your goals, uh, this uh, plugin is recommended. I think it'll definitely be beneficial, and I'm using it on you know some of my sites. Um, so hopefully you found this episode helpful on how to install a related post uh, plugin that is um, very user friendly and out the box, very easy to use. If you have any thoughts, ideas, or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you want to learn more about how to manage your WordPress powered website, then make sure to subscribe to our channel because we're going to be um, creating more episodes on various aspects of running a website today. All right, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. See you next time.